one of my students had a date, and the date that he got was, in his opinion, a very high value girl. The hottest girl he'd been with, and uh, they had a great date. Went out, made out a bunch of times. She invited him two days later to go out of town with him. He was just on cloud nine. One of the first things I tell people when I teach them for real, he's been my student for a while, I said, be ready for the highest highs and the lowest lows that I've ever experienced in my life when it comes to game. You're going to experience shit that will make you feel like you are fucking Superman, like you're on an incredible drug. And I guarantee you, you're going to experience some low, low lows that you're going to feel like life is not fucking worth it and you want to just stop everything, okay? I've experienced that too many times in this. I no longer experience that, okay? Because there's only so much of that I was willing to take, okay? But I was willing to take it up until the point where I was like, no more. That's it, okay? It's not going to be like that any longer meeting anybody new in my life, okay? So now I don't experience that anymore. Why? Because I've discovered throughout gaming some basic natural laws that happen with these women. And I'll give, give them to you some of them right now. It's not the main part of the, the lecture, but I'll give you some of them. One is, I don't believe anything a girl says. Okay? That, that, that belief that I have right there prevents me from ever going through that low, low, low. I don't care what she says. Because if my student listened to what she said, and that's what he kept telling me, by the way. In the, in the next two days of her not communicating back and communicating weak and evading questions and shit, he kept telling me, she said this, she said this, she said this. And I had told him already, you believe her? Okay, well, I don't believe her. I don't care what she says. I have matured in this area of my life, okay? In this area of my life, to me, maturity means this. I have been told many times by different women that they love me and those same women have acted as if they hate me. Same women who said they love me at incredible moments that it was just so real and I felt it have acted as if they hate me like an enemy. And that's happened more than once. It's happened enough times for me to go, when they say they love me, I go for now in my head. For now. I've seen it enough where a woman has said to me that I have such an incredible connection and this and this and that and she would do anything for me and that she's okay with me doing everything and blah 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 and then turns around and goes back on her word and it's almost like she never said that to me before and I'm like, who am I facing? Who is this person? Isn't this the same person that said blah blah blah? So now they say, listen, I'm okay with you doing this for now, okay? At this moment you are. I just gotta make sure this moment it's the moment all the time, okay? I created this moment. I made something happen where in this moment my value was high enough to you where I could do whatever I want. But when my value drops down the scale, I, can, I can't get away with a fucking sneeze. You see that? That's the difference. I've been in situations where I've turned to a woman. And I've told her, get the fuck out. Don't ever come back. Don't say my name. You're disgusting. You're the worst thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. I can't even believe that I've ever, ever ever wanted to even talk to you. You need to fucking leave your fucking girls. I swear to God, I was in here yelling at you on the phone. And I've had that woman turn around and beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and come back in my life and came back in my life and blah, blah, blah. And I've had experience where I've turned to a woman and I've said, God, you're rude. And she's never wanted to talk to me again. <laughs> Same guy, two different women. Their looks were about equal. But to one woman, my value was so high that I could say all those things and she couldn't leave still and come back. To the other woman, my value was so low that I could say, you're rude, just fuck you. You're, I'm rude, fuck you. Then I'm out of here. Okay. So, all right. So one of my first rules is that I just don't believe what they say. Who cares? Today I was teaching class. Uh, I don't think Brian was right. You weren't there tonight, right? You were, there, you were in the kickboxing room. Yeah. And uh, he has a bunch of beautiful women there, and I turned on the music. I said I was 13 years old, and I bought a book, and it was called Light Her Fire. I bought it secretly. My parents didn't want to know how to get women shit. It was written by a woman. And one of the things in the book was, don't should, S-H-O-U-L-D. Don't should on me. So if you say it fast, don't should on me. And it was a whole chapter on... You shouldn't tell a woman, you should this, you should that, you should this, you should that. And the book went on and on and on and on and taught me how to be a beautiful gentleman. Open doors, kiss her hand, 
Get her flowers and chocolate. That was the book. And then I said to them, they're all listening because I'm telling the, the woman this today, right? I said, I bought a book and it taught me how to get women. I said, and years later, when I realized that that book was teaching me the incorrect way to get women, I, I wasn't getting anybody. I said, I realized something. The book was written by a woman. I said to them, and to the whole class, I said, and now I know women have no clue what they want. That's the second clue. That's the second thing. First, I don't believe anything they say. Second, I know for sure what she says she wants is not true. It's just not. How do I know that? Well, I, again, it's just my my experience. I've, it's empirical observation. She says she wants this, yet she goes for that. She says she wants this, and she goes for that again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Third one. If at any point she logically gives me reasons why she can't do something, I will never logically ever argue with her about it. If she can't show up because logically she has school tomorrow, she worked too late today, she has to cook later, blah, and logically makes sense, that I'm not interested in that argument. Because she never makes decisions logically. Not when it comes to a man, or buying, or important things to her, she doesn't sit there and go, well, you know. She goes off her emotion. So when a woman says stupid shit like this to you, like, well, you know, um, I really, really would like to, but I have to, blah, and it makes sense. And, and we then, like little monkeys, buy it. Oh, okay, well then how about, no, how about you don't buy that bullshit? How about you just stop and go, mm, not enough attraction, or not enough value, or something else happening here. So let me not get into that. Because the moment you get into that logical, well, we can, and what about, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, you missed it. You missed it. She will, at 2.30 a.m., get out of bed and drive to see Brad Pitt, or Johnny Depp, or Chris Brown, or any of those fucks. And she'll still have school in the morning and all that shit. She's like, oh my god, Brad Pitt just called me. I can't. It's too late, hon. No. Okay? So if she's willing to do that for him, she should be willing to do that for me. If she doesn't, then I need to get myself to that level. Okay? And that's where I'm going to go. So, these are just some basic laws. Hey, man, come on. These are some basic laws that I'm just working with to, to break down for it to stop this devastating up and down roller cycle that we go through. Do so well with this girl, feeling so good, and then bah, breaks us. This is why I said I would stop teaching game until I created some real men. Because that's the result. I'll teach a guy, he'll say what I tell him to say, he'll do what I tell him to do, attraction goes up, she'll make out with them, she'll even sleep with them, he loses her. And you thought it was fucking painful sitting behind the computer and just looking at porn? Try getting that porn live, she fucks you, and you think she loves you, and now she doesn't talk to you. Boy, life is over. Okay? Especially if you think that that girl was just some fluke chance because you don't have faith in your game yet. You don't, you don't understand. You got her. You know? We're, we're getting rid of luck. We're getting into skill. My student said, hey, let, let me um, listen to this. And he played a tape for me. Forgot the guy's name from another company. Famous. Whatever it was, the, 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 the paraphrasing of the guy that I heard was, the section was, um, you see a lot of men who are not socially calibrated, not socially uh, understanding of game, who are in a lot of fulfilling relationships. So don't sweat so much if you're not that good at it, blah, 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 because there's a lot of chumps out there in good relationships. And he said, what do you think about that? I said, I disagree. I completely disagree with that. Okay? They may be in relationships, but they're not fulfilled. Because I know they're women, and I know enough women that are cheating on their men that would blow your fucking mind. Okay? For sure. He may be fulfilled in his ignorance, and that's okay. But I don't plan on being fulfilled in my ignorance at all. And he's not that fulfilled. He's not that fulfilled. If he's a man, three years later in that relationship, five years later in that relationship, he's looking at another chick. But now he's in a relationship. I don't know what he's doing now. He's hiding his look. He's in the middle of the night looking at the website when she's not over there, he's running to a fucking strip club when she's not around, he's ho that is that a fucking fulfilled, fulf okay, I'll tell you who's fulfilled, Hugh Hefner. And that's what I said to him, I said, he's fulfilled, yeah. So, I don't know what kind of fucking weird advice that is, that, oh, well, you know, hell no, get so good at game that you could create the life of Hugh Hefner. Okay, simple, it's possible, it's possible. 
at least some level, right? So, okay. Uh, I don't buy their shit. Uh, logically, don't ever argue. Final one. Final one, okay? If she ever fucking gives you this bullshit, listen, I'm, um, you're, you're really, I'm gonna say this, and you guys have heard this before. You're a really great guy. I'm just not ready right now. I have a lot of past issues I'm dealing with. Um, you deserve better. You're, uh, you know, it's just not the right time in my life. I really, I mean, you're a great guy. Oh, what the fuck? You buying that shit? You buying that shit? Seriously? Okay, that's a lie. That's a, just a blatant, complete bullshit lie. Okay? So that, that I don't even, well, don't, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Don't pity me. Don't try to save my fucking feelings. Don't give me sympathy, bitch. Okay? Because I have been her. I have been her, which is, how do you get rid of this girl? Hey, listen, right now I'm really focused on my career. You're a great girl. Um, it's just not the right time. Blah, blah, blah. You deserve better. I can't provide everything. I've been that girl, the guy girl. So I know that that's how you do that with somebody. Okay? Otherwise, you, you know, you have a guilty conscience or feel weird or whatever. So if she ever gets into that, the, the problem is a guy will hear that and he'll logically try to argue that. She'll say, I have too much baggage. He'll say, listen, I accept you with your baggage. She doesn't give a fuck about her baggage. She's saying that so you're, you're okay with it. You know, you're blah, blah, but I really like you. Oh, God, you're just like, rah, going down the drain at this point. Okay, and there's ways to save these things. Save them before they crash like that, okay? Okay, good. So now this is not the main point of this talk. The main point of this talk is...